Hi, this is Squirrel Girl coming from Salt Lake City Comic Con, and I'm with... Deadpool. Who else? <laughs> Deadpool, where are you from? Uh, I'm from the comic books, pretty much, yeah, that's where I came from. I'm not sure if you guys read those sort of things. <laughs> I don't know. Do you? Well, I am Squirrel Girl, so I've beaten you a couple times. We're not supposed to share that information. This is supposed to be a candid interview, all right? It's a mutual thing, you know? <laughs> Don't reveal that. <laughs> also, you uh, provided me with some awesome cards. I did do that. I did do that. Yeah. Um, where's, my, where's the return thing, by the way? When am I getting mine? I gave that to you. You stayed at our place in uh, Great Lake Avengers. No, but it stayed in USPS though, or UPS, whatever that is. That mail thing. I was waiting for you to send me some squirrels. That's not going to happen. I need some My... pets, man. I need some pets. I need company. I get lonely. <laughs> I love this. This is I'm awesome. I'm tired of my unicorn. I'm just saying. I'm tired of my unicorn. What is up with the unicorn anyways? I, it's just a fetish. Everybody has fetishes, right? Like sometimes I play with it and it's just really weird. But you know, like it's 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 one of those things you just have to understand. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, continue with the interview. <laughs> I can't control it. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. What's the little hand doing? Oh, my little hand. Um... I got an unfortunate, like, into an unfortunate accident with Wolverine. We were playing rock, paper, scissors, and, you know, he accidentally cut my hand off when I was paper, and he was using his scissors. But, uh, it'll grow back. Just give it time. Eventually? Yep, eventually it'll grow back. But so right now it's pretty, uh... That's your little hand, then? No, it's my big hand. You should see my other little hand. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so out of uh, out of character. Yep. Um, how long did it take you to make your costume? Um, it took me uh, five minutes to call the person that made the costume. Yeah, I don't have any talents other than sweating, which I'm doing a lot of right now. Yeah, I totally understand that. I feel you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm walking in a in a pre-made sauna. <laughs> you know what I mean, like a box sauna that goes with you wherever you go. At least, nice. you're, at least you're losing weight. I am losing weight. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm losing five pounds every minute. <laughs> All right. So who uh, made your costume for you? Um, this one is made by Cosplay Fly. Okay. And the mask is made by Illustrious Studios. They're very known for their Deadpool mask. So if oh. ever you want to bring a Deadpool home, you should definitely check them out. If you want a Deadpool head in your room, that's, that's what I would do. Yep. You know, I, I just I just admire the comic book pictures of you. Okay. I'm, I'm good with that. You don't, don't want the real thing? No, no. It's, it's a little awkward. <laughs> um, you're making my little hand upset. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Now it feels better. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, so what initially got you into cosplaying? Girls. Girls. Yeah. Is that no? Not the no? <laughs> no, I mean uh, I mean art, of course. <laughs> Everybody does it for art. <laughs> and girls. Well, I don't know about girls for me. It might be the squirrels for me. The squirrels, yeah. I do it I do it for the squirrels too. I, he... I do it for the squirrels and the unicorns and all sorts of mammals basically. Uh, we're still talking about cosplay, right? Yes. Okay, okay, yeah. yes. Just making yes. sure. Yep. <laughs> all right. That's good. Um, all right. So, uh, how long have you been cosplaying? I've only been cosplaying for about a year. And what made you choose to be Deadpool? Oh, no, I didn't choose Deadpool. He chose me. How does that work? He literally said, hey, be me. And then he just, you know, he chose me. He just came out of me. Boom. Yeah. Oh my God, here I am. That's that's how it happened, yeah. All right, so why are other... Oh, geez. So uh, what are some other cons or events that we've seen you at, maybe? I've been in WonderCon. I've been in WizardCon. I've been in Anime Expo, uh, Amazing Las Vegas Comic Con, and I'll be at uh, Stan Lee uh, Kamikaze on October. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Do you ever do any of the contests? No, no. No? No. 
I don't want to. I, I want to give chance to others. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yep. I'm very humble. In case <laughs> you know, it didn't show. Yeah. It, it showed I'm humble. No. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, is there uh, anything on your costume that you really, really, really love? Besides the mask, of course. Your finger. Your little hand. He really likes his hand, guys. The really, really likes the hand. Yeah, you should feel it, actually. Um, give me your skin. Wow. That's actually a very soft hand. Yeah, I moisturize it every day <laughs> to make sure that it's that right texture. <laughs> Seriously, where yeah. did you get your hand? I got my... Uh, it came out of uh, Arizona, actually. Oh? They were selling a bunch of these for 80 cents, so I just bought the whole thing. Really? Yeah, I have tons of hands at home. I don't even know what to do with them at times. So <laughs> maybe, maybe you'll, you'll, you'll. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, start. I don't know what to do with it. It's just, it's, it's just, just there. fun. I mean, I like I said, I take care of them. I moisturize them every day. Make sure they're clean. I even had a, I even have a little hand sanitizer just for this one. No, you do not. I do. Yeah, I don't have it on me right now. It's in the car. Well, that's not, that's not helpful at all. It's not helpful, no. So I just keep it dirty for the whole con, and then when I'm done, that's when I clean it. Oh, there you go. Uh, there you I go. wouldn't recommend eating with this one, though. I've touched too many faces with it. Oh. And I why are you touching people's faces? It's just really nice. They feel, they feel the real Deadpool essence when you get to touch their face. You know what I mean? Like, I can show you if you want. I mean... That's totally up to you. I'm not trying to force you into anything you don't want to do. Sure. Okay. Let me know if you feel Deadpool. Do, you feel, <laughs> do you feel Deadpool? Do you feel that it? is so funny. That is the weirdest thing ever. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's Deadpool uh, for you. Awkward moments. A little bit, a little bit. I'm sweating. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Give us a good line from Deadpool. Oh my god, I, I don't have any lines anymore because like they took all of it in the movie. They put it all in the movie and oh come on. See. Okay. What's long and no 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 I told myself not to go there. Okay. Uh okay. What's a squirrel and a deadpool have in common? I don't know. They both like tails. Oh, very nice. Does that make sense? No? Yeah, you know, well, you no, know. No? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to tell myself. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. And uh, we hope to see you again. I hope to see you guys again tonight. We'll when be all cameras, over the place. When the cameras are gone. That'll be after four. After four? Yeah. I'll be there. I'll awesome. Be there. This awesome. will be full grown by that time. You think so? It will be, yeah. You you grow that fast, huh? It will. It does grow that fast. It sh it shrinks that fast too. <laughs> the head, the head. Wow. All right. Thank you again. Thank you and so uh, this has been Squirrel Girl at Salt Lake City Comic Con. Oh my goodness, you're gonna die. So the Las Vegas 51 baseball team is hosting a superhero night tonight in honor of my charity. It's a whole big thing and I have to throw out the first pitch. And I am horrified and nervous. I cannot even tell you how stressed I am because not only is everyone expecting Wonder Woman to throw it out of the park, right. I'm nervous when I twist, I'm gonna have like a wardrobe malfunction <laughs> and I'm gonna be like an internet sensation, but it's gonna kill my charity work. <laughs>